Today I wanted to talk about the term money whore is being way overused and misused. I mean, doesn't everybody try to do the best for themselves, you know? Isn't everybody trying to get as many views as they can, you know, to help themselves? I mean, think about school. If you get good grades in school, are you a grade whore? And another point, guys, about YouTubers, you know, trying to exploit YouTube and trying to get as much money as they can, besides putting tags in their videos that don't belong there. Like if somebody has a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay or a different Call of Duty, and then in the tags, you see like Jerry Springer, Dr. Phil, Black Ops 3 gameplay, you know. If you see that kind of bullshit happening in the tags, you know something fishy is happening. I want to talk about the fact that YouTubers that are getting paid so much, the huge YouTubers that are like at 2 million subs, or maybe not that big, but say T. Martin, right? T. Martin is a normal guy. He has like, I think he has a million subs. No, he might have 2 million. I mean, his second channel, which is only for gameplay, that's like almost a million already, which is kind of crazy. I mean, think about if you had a freaking second channel that was only for gameplay and it had a million subs, I would be all over that shit. But think about what YouTubers do with the money. I mean, they have rent. They have to buy toothpaste, you know, they have to go to the store, they have to buy food, they have family, you know. T. Martin has to put the money that he earns not only into everything that I just mentioned, but he doesn't have a job. YouTube is his job. Going back to my original point, we're all money whores. We all want the best for ourselves, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The only bad type of money whore are the people that exploit YouTube by putting false tags or putting, you know, bullshit titles in the videos just to get views using search engine optimization. Those are the only bad types of money whores, but the, you know, YouTubers that are maybe putting once in a while a paid promotion in their video, they're okay. Oh, and guys, one more thing. Wow, this is going to be a long commentary. I hope you guys are enjoying it. But being a YouTuber makes you watch YouTube videos so much differently. And I know this has nothing to do with the main topic of this video. If anybody watching this video is thinking about becoming a YouTuber, you know, an up and coming, you know, sensation, just be careful because you're not going to watch YouTube videos as often. You're not going to have the time. And when you do watch YouTube videos, you're going to be judging it. You're going to be like, mm, he could have done that right. Or mm, he could have done that a little bit better, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.